Just about everybody loves big buses. They come in all sizes, shapes, and colors. But have you ever wondered what it would be like to ride a bus? Or better yet, to drive one? Well, get set to find out, because there goes a bus. bus driver. <laughs> oh, hi, guys. You know me. It's Dave. And uh, I just love buses. Wouldn't it be fun to actually drive a bus? Whoa! <laughs> well, you know, I'm not a real bus driver, but the real bus drivers have agreed to let me pretend for the day so that you and I can learn all about buses and how they work. But we've got to go to bus driver school first. <laughs> it's going to be a big responsibility carrying all those people around. Oh, we're late. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go to bus driver school. Come on. Look at all these buses. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, hey, bus driver Dave reporting for duty, sir. You must be uh, Supervisor Dan, right? Yes, I am. Good morning, Dave. <laughs> morning to you, sir. Dave, the very first lesson a bus driver learns is that he needs to be on time. Uh, uh, my, You're late. My alarm clock was a little off this You're morning. You're late. I know I'm a little late, but come on. So I had to send somebody in your place this morning. Oh. You missed the bus, so to speak. So to speak, I missed the bus, but I'm here now. I want to drive a bus. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I had to send somebody in your place, Dave. Oh. Hey, but don't worry. I got a job for you. Right. Hey, follow me. <laughs> Not everybody can be a bus driver. It takes special training and a very responsible person who's a very good driver. I don't know. This doesn't look like a, a typical bus driver uniform to me. Oh, hi, Dan. Hi, Dave. <laughs> Whoa, look at this baby. <laughs> yeah, this is... She's big, she's huge, she's beautiful. <laughs> this is our brand new 9904 Model RE. 9904 Model yes, RE. I can't wait to get my hands on that steering wheel. Dan, she's in good hands with bus driver Dave. Well, I know she is, Dave. That's why I've entrusted you to give it its first bath. Its first bath? <laughs> but the bus is so big. I know it is, Dave. That's why you need to get started. You haven't got all day. Oh, well, somebody's got to do it. Uh, uh, oh, and Dave, don't forget the windows. How does this... Dan, how does... How does the hose work? <laughs> In order to really appreciate how cool buses are today, you need to understand how they started out. In the old days, they were pulled by horses. Yeah, real horses. They were very slow, but it was a lot better than walking in the hot sun, sludging through the mud, or freezing in the wind and snow.
finally motors were added to buses and the horses were put out to pasture, so to speak. Buses quickly became a very popular way for kids to get to and from school and workers to get to and from their jobs. Buses carried people from one end of the country to the other. Today, buses are modern and sleek, even air-conditioned. Yeah, they really are cool. People depend on city transit buses every day to get them to and from work and from here to there. City transit buses are a great way to get around town. And it, it saves on pollution and gas. And there is one thing that's different about city buses. You gotta pay to use them. Come on. Hello, Mr. Bus Driver. Hello. Now, you gotta have the exact change, too, because the bus driver doesn't carry any change. But for a couple of bucks, you can go all over town. Sometimes when you're going to the bus stop, you might want to take your bike along just to get there. So what do you do with your bike when you get on the bus? Easy. If you're lucky, some city buses have bike racks, just like this one, and they're real easy to use. Just three easy steps. Pull the lever up, pull the bike rack down, put the bike in the slot, and number three, pull this up, hook it right there. Solid as a rock, it's not going anywhere, except with you on the bus. Here's another important thing you should know if you're ever going to ride the city transit bus. It's how to notify the driver that your stop is coming up and you want to get off the bus. What do you do? It says right there, pull cord to signal driver to stop. You just pull the yellow cord. If I was a real bus driver, this is where I'd sit. <laughs> In the bus driver chair with a great big steering wheel like this with a little horn in the middle. <laughs> this is great. They've got a gas pedal, a foot pedal, just like a car. And then they've also got a, a, a telephone. Hello? Hello? Goodbye. He's not here. And then up here, there's a radio. <laughs> this is bus driver Dave. Please take your seats now. We're about to begin the tour. <laughs> yeah, let's see what else have we got. We got the coin machine and some buses even have a GPS, a global positioning system. So they tell you where you are on the face of the earth at any time you want to know. Oh, it's cool. It's really cool. I'm bus driver Dave. I'm bus driver Dave. I'm bus driver Dave. And I wish I had a license. thing is the door this is the handle right here that controls the door open close close oh buses are so cool oh, wow look at this oh, inspection pit number two i wonder what that means I shouldn't have done that. I should have watched where I was going. A guy has to be pretty careful where he's walking around here. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is the service area. And this big hole in the ground here is where they check underneath the bus to make sure everything's safe with the brakes and the transmission and all that stuff. You know, city buses, city transit buses, they work very, very hard. Probably harder than any other buses around. They run as much as 18 hours a day. Now that's a lot. So they have to be serviced and they have to be clean. And this is where they do it. Right back there, they put in the fuel and they make sure everything is good. Now, wait till you see how they clean the bus. You're going to love it. You 
Some buses run on natural gas, but most buses are run on diesel fuel. It takes a lot to fill them up. This big hood sucks all the exhaust fumes up so the workers don't have to breathe the fumes. Just like your car at home, the mechanic has to check the oil and the transmission fluid. Just look at the size of that dipstick, wow! The oil is added with this big gun and measured as it goes in. This is what's called a hubometer. It's a speedometer on the wheel. Did you know that some buses go for more than a million miles before they are retired? Oh, you're gonna love this. You know when you have lots of buses, I mean hundreds of buses, you gotta keep them clean because people are kind of sloppy sometimes. They leave junk and paper and things around. So you gotta have a fast way to clean them. That's where this baby comes in. This is called the cycle. cycle. <laughs> you know why? Because it's like a big vacuum cleaner. I'll show you in a minute. But they use this hose here. This hose is what they use to kind of like, a, a, like a, a leaf blower to blow the stuff to the front of the bus and then this thing down here moves forward, hooks onto the door of the bus, and it sucks all the dirt and everything out of it. All you gotta do is push this button. Whoa! City transit buses have to be clean on the outside, too. They gotta look good all the time. How do they do it? Well, they do it with a car wash, much like you take your car to, only like everything else with buses, they're very big. Look at the big brushes. Look at the big brushes. Oh, they're big and they turn fast. Look at that. Watch this, guys. This bus actually does tricks. It'll go up and down, down and up. Whoops, down and up. There we go. And this folds out. That's so people that have to use wheelchairs can get on and off the bus easier. OK, bus driver Joe, let her go. Sometimes buses need major repairs. When that happens, they have to go to the big bus barn where they're lifted by these four big jacks. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Gotta get it back into service. People are waiting. People depend on buses every day. Come on, guys, hurry up. Remember, that's very important when you're waiting for the bus. Never run up to the bus. Always stay back at least six feet and wait for the secret signal from the bus driver. 
What is that secret signal? Hmm. Well, guess what it is? It's when he opens the doors. <laughs> Just like that. See? That means it's safe to approach the bus and get on and go for a ride. Hey, look at this. It's an old-fashioned trolley bus. Let's go. <laughs> Some buses can run on diesel fuel and electricity. They're the cleanest buses of all when they're running on electricity because they don't have any exhaust. But where do they get the electricity? Well, they pick it up from these cables hung in the sky. The electricity goes down through the big long arms and into the electric engine in the back of the bus. When you have to go where there aren't any cables hanging in the sky, you just unhook the big arms and turn on the diesel engine. Hey guys, look at this. It's a bus that bends in the middle. This is called an articulated bus. It looks like a giant accordion in the middle, but it doesn't play music at all. It holds the front and the back of the bus together and lets the bus bend in the middle. That way buses can be longer and haul more people and still get around the corners okay. Look at this, it's a cross-country cruiser. They're sleek and very comfortable. People use this kind of bus for going long distances. They even have bathrooms. Hey, this one even has an elevator. Wait just a minute, what's this? Buses aren't supposed to have propellers on them, are they? <laughs> well, only if they're a bus boat. <laughs> You're gonna love this, come on. Now the most important thing to remember on a bus boat is to always be safe. And to do that, you should always wear a life vest, just in case something goes wrong. <laughs> oh, and it's, it's also nice to have a pair of binoculars so you can see the other ships at sea. Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> so you can see the other ships at sea, clearly. <laughs> OK, let's go for a ride. Captain Joy, fire up the bus boat. The boat bus is really a tour bus. It takes people around town to see the sights, and then when they're ready, it enters the water. And they get to tour the bay as well. The way we do it is uh, we drive the bus boat right into the water. Take it out of gear here, engage the prop into gear here, and uh, that's the way we do it. Look at this beautiful bus, all shiny and painted up beautiful. This is the kind some of the big rock groups take when they go on the road. It's also sometimes called a motor home or a motor coach. It's basically a great big bus with an apartment inside. This one costs more than a million dollars. Oh, it's fancy. Let's take a look around. <music> 
Wow, look at this control panel and the leather seats. And look at this, you just push a button and the curtains come down and the TV comes right out of the ceiling. Look at this big red bus. Now this is a bus that you probably won't see every day and there's a reason for that. It's from all the way over on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean in England. You know, it's from Great Britain. It's a British bus. And over there the roads are narrower so the cars have to be a little smaller too. But they have to haul just as many people and that's why this bus is special. It has a bottom deck and a top deck. <laughs> Come on, let's go on board. You notice anything else different about this British double-decker bus? <laughs> You're pretty sharp. The driver sits on the other side. That's because in England, they drive in the opposite side of the road. <laughs> pretty cool, huh? Look at all this stuff in here. He has his own little cage. Hey, let's go upstairs. Oh, ho, ho. wow, look at this view. Hey, let's go for a ride. a friend to go for a ride with me. Her name is Ginger. <laughs> She's an English bus dog. Buses are pretty complicated machines, that's for sure. And they're also one of the safest ways to travel. Did you know that according to statistics, riding on a school bus is about 171 times safer than riding in a private vehicle? Oh, they're really cool machines and they're very safe and there's reasons why. See these big black ribs that run along? These are steel. And so if something hits it, it protects the bus. And, and, and then there's also these other ribs. You see these rivets here? There's a steel beam inside there that goes all the way over the top of the bus to the other side. So if the bus takes a tumble, the uh, the roof doesn't collapse. Oh, I tell you, school buses are so cool. <laughs> One of the coolest things on the bus are these big, weird mirrors. This is a convex mirror. It means it's round. It's like a big old bug eye, and it can see wide areas all in front of the bus and all along the side of the bus. That's so the bus driver can make sure it's safe before he moves the bus. Oh. Underneath the bus, this is where they store the luggage and the band instruments if you go on a field trip or if you're going to perform. That's where they put the stuff so it's safe while you're on your trip. Oh. Well, one of the most important safety features on a bus are the two big red lights that flash on the top of the bus. Oh. And of course, <laughs> Some buses have these fancy red signs that automatically flip out. Now, if that happens, that means that kids are getting on and off the bus. So if you're driving in a car, whoever's driving the car should stop the car, wait for the lights to go off or the sign to fold back up before proceeding safely. cool thing, a safety thing inside the buses, is these seats. Look at them. They have high backs, almost higher than her head. They're like little padded boxes, and they're called safety compartments. So if you stop quick and your head goes forward, it goes into the back of the seat in front, which is also very padded and very soft. That way we're all very safe when we travel on a bus, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, 
Hi. <laughs> this here is uh, one of the side door emergency exits on a bus. Now, there's lots of emergency exits, some on the roof, some's on the side, some in the back. But this is the one on the side, and this lever is what opens it. But one thing you got to remember is never, ever play with this lever when the bus is moving. And never pull it unless it's a real emergency, OK? <laughs> OK. <laughs> Whoa. This is the back of the bus. And guess what's hiding in there? <laughs> in this particular bus, that's where the engine is. Come here, I'll show you. This is where the mechanics go when they have to work on the engine. And you can actually walk in here, and they can stand in here and work on this great big engine. It's 255 horses of pure power. That's like having 255 big old horses pulling your wagon down the road. Only in this case, the motor's in the back, so the, the, the motor is pushing the bus forward. And then right over there, there's a there's a fan that woo, 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 sucks the air in to keep the engine cool. And the old pistons inside there go boom, 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 and push the big bus up the hill. Oh, it's cool. Oh. <laughs> this is the roof. <laughs> of the bus, and this acts as, a, as an air vent to keep the bus cool, but it's also the emergency exit. Now, you should never touch any of this emergency stuff unless it's a real emergency or unless the school bus driver tells you to. But this is how you would get out if there was an emergency. Now, did you ever wonder why some school buses have white roofs? I did too. Why do they have white roofs? Well, because the white reflects the heat and keeps the bus cooler. <laughs> I just love school buses. I really do. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> She's sparkling clean all over. <laughs> Very good job, Dave. Very good job. Since you've done such a great job today, tomorrow, if you show up on time, I'm going to let you start bus driver school so that you can become a real school bus driver. <laughs> I get to drive a real bus. But in the meantime, <laughs> I've got a whole lot of dirty buses, and I've got a special set of wheels just for you. Thank you, Supervisor. Get started. Dan. See me when you get done. I'll see you in the morning. This isn't exactly what I had in mind, but that's kind of fun watching buses. <laughs> well, you know, we've had a lot of fun learning about buses today. But one thing you got to remember is always be safe around buses. Stay in your seats when the bus is moving and always listen to your bus driver, okay? Well, this is future bus driver Dave saying, I'll see you next time. Bye bye, everybody. <laughs> Let's see, how does this work? Well, there, well, there we go. Oh, whoa!